Welcome to Square 3. This is where we convert theories into models and constructs into variables. Science doesn't test theories. By their nature, theories are a collection of ideas. And ideas are invisible, ethereal, and not directly testable. Ideas, also called constructs, must be converted into things that can be observed. These observable things are called variables. At Square 3, you convert your theory into a model. You do this by taking your theoretical constructs and changing them into variables and constants. Constants are factors that don't change. They are static. The speed of light is a constant. The speed of sound. The speed of a neuron in the brain is a constant. But that's about as close as people get to having constants. People vary, particularly when compared with other people. We are not all the same. We vary in height, age, intelligence, and musical ability. So in social science, you can disregard constants completely and solely focus on variables. Anything you can measure about people is a variable. Not everyone has the same hat size or age or personality or level of education. So each of these would be called a variable. We choose the variables based on our theory. We use the theory to select the variables. In our theory of intelligence, there are many possible variables. But we want to choose only two or three to study. For cost and simplicity, let's choose intelligence and handedness left and right-handed, for our study. A collection of variables is called a model. Theories are composed of constructs, and models are composed of variables. Theories are general premises and ideas. Models are specified tests of theories. Theories are the thinkings of atoms. Models are the application of atomic theory to atomic energy plants, atomic bombs, and atomic spaceships. The theory specifies the process. The model determines the practical application. We don't have atomic spaceships yet because we still have to find a way to apply the theory to a practical model. A common use of models is on the news. The meteorologist shows you a map of the world, describes the theory of how hurricanes are formed, and then shows you several models of the actual hurricane headed your way. In one model, the hurricane misses you completely. In another, it goes back out to sea. And in a third model, the hurricane is coming right down your street. Same theory, different models. Theories are so important. That's why we went to so much work. In square one, we generated some theoretical possibilities. We armchaired them. We sat in our armchair and thought about theory. In square two, we checked with others and modified our theory as necessary. Let's assume that in our literature review, we read about intelligence, height, handedness, left and right handed, musical ability, and tap dancing. Now in square three, we use the theory in literature review to select our variables. So from this list, we identified two variables to study, handedness and intelligence. In square four, we will develop a hypothesis about how these variables are combined.